Okay, well, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, as you can see, this is a uh, webinar about how to deal with reviewers' comments. Uh, there are a lot of very good uh, resources out there already about how to write a paper and how to get published and how the peer review process works in general. So we're just going to be focusing on this one specific and very important stage of the process um, and help you uh, get some uh, information and ideas on how to best respond to reviewers' comments. So we'll be looking at um, a few different things here. Um, getting your first set of reviewers' comments can be quite overwhelming, so let's hope that this advice will you know, help you through this and um, turn your research into the best paper possible and one that does justice to all your hard work up till now. So during the next half an hour, we'll, we'll look at uh, these uh, six, uh, five different things. Uh, so the first of all, we'll look at different types of revision. Uh, the difference between major and minor revisions, for example, and the different decisions that you may get from an editor um, when you get your comments back. Um, and we'll also look at the first steps that you should take once you get your comments back, which is an important time um, of, of the process overall. And then we'll look into a bit more detail about how to effectively respond to comments you receive in a little bit more detail um, beyond you know, the first things you should do with some golden rules to follow, some do's and don'ts, um, you know, some things that you really should try and do and things you should definitely not do, and, um, and some advice on specific scenarios you may face, uh, specific things. I've, I've looked through the questions that you submitted, and most of those will be answered in, in this section. Um, this is uh, an overview of how to do this. I, know, I appreciate that there may be differences in different subject areas, health sciences or, 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 or life sciences, for example. So um, bear, in, bear that in mind, that, um, but do let me know uh, if you've got anything extra in the question and answers. So moving on to the next slide. So getting your paper back. So there are lots of different decisions you can get, um, but they can broadly be broken down into, into these. So uh, the first which uh, you may get, and it's very common actually, is, is, is called uh, desk reject or rejected without review. And this is quite common, and it mainly tends to be because the paper is out of scope for the journal you've submitted it to, uh, or because the paper is not of the quite the quality that journal's looking for. Uh, the decision received by those papers, this is the same decision that you'd also get if the paper was very poor quality in the first place and if the language and the structure was poor or, or the scientific content was weak. The editor would just simply take the initial uh, review and deem that it wasn't uh, ready or appropriate to send it out to reviewers. Uh, reviewers really don't like being sent papers that they feel the editor should have screened out in the first place. So the editors are very uh, careful and do use this option quite a lot. Uh, if they send reviewers bad papers or papers that, that, that they don't feel are up to the standard of the journal, and they're effectively using that reviewer up um, for maybe, you know, the, they probably only ask each reviewer perhaps once every couple of months. So they're, they're quite cautious about making sure that they don't um, use up the, the limited reviewer pool they may have because we all know it's quite difficult to find reviewers nowadays. So don't be surprised if your paper gets this, but they will always give you a brief comment um, when you get your desk rejection decision back about why this is. It's, it's, it's never just uh, uh, completely um, blade blunt, they, they will always tell you something. And if it's about scope, which it is mostly, and they will often recommend the best journal for you to pass it on to, which is, in, you know, which is important that you, you think quite hard before you submit to make sure that you're, you're sending your journal, uh, article to the right journal in the first place. So the second decision you can get, um, which is incredibly rare, uh, is, is an accept without review, uh, without revision, sorry. Everything's always reviewed, but uh, it's an accept without revisions. This is usually when a paper has been commissioned, or it may be something to do with a special issue, or an editorial, or some such things. It's very unlikely that uh, uh, that, that, that original research paper, review article, or such like, will be accepted without, without any revisions. Uh, there's always something they pick up on. So don't be disappointed if you don't get this. So commonly, one of the most common decisions that you will get back is minor revision. 
So both of the reviewers will have looked at the paper and they will have picked up on grammar, references, putting things into journal style, etc. It's a minimum, usually contain minimal comments on the actual scientific content of the paper. These minor revisions are best to get done without argument as quickly as possible because um, it's effectively saying that your paper will be accepted if you make these minor changes. Uh, so do it quickly and send your paper back to the editor so it's fresh in their mind and they can make a, a quick final decision for you. And editors like to get papers like this done and dusted quickly, so it works very well for them, it works well for you. And uh, the sooner the sooner you reply, the sooner you'll, you'll get your paper published in the journal. And what we're mainly looking at today is what happens when you get um, papers back, uh, reviewer comments back with a major revision. So this is, this is most likely the most likely decision many people will get, especially early in their career, and even late on to the career. You know, many editors I, I work with still doing their research uh, get papers back with major revisions, so it's nothing to be surprised about or upset about. It means basically that reviewers see the need for more change within the paper beyond the surface level of grammar, etc. So uh, unfortunately, it's likely to evolve a considerable amount of work on your part. So uh, you really first need to decide if it's worth your while um, to redo the paper or if you wanted to, you know, uh, maybe resubmit somewhere else. But the best advice is to make the effort and, and take on board the comments and, 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 and give it another chance at the journal you, you submitted to in the first place um, rather than ignore all comments and submit it in its original format to a different journal in the hope they won't make the same comments back to you, which, is, uh, which we'll come on to a little bit later. Uh, revisions is basically an ideal opportunity for you to take up the free advice you've been given. The reviewers are giving you this advice to make your paper better, you know, they've all been through it themselves. So they're generally there to try and help and not, not trying to uh, put you off. So although it may seem quite daunting, you, you, you should make your best, keep, keep positive and, 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 and try, and try and make their changes. But again, we'll talk about that more in a minute. And another decision that you know, many people will unfortunately get at some point is, is a rejection. This is you know, after review, which is different to the rejection at desk uh, before review. So, uh, it's difficult to say what a typical rejection rate is across all fields, uh, but I would say um, in the physical sciences and the health sciences, you're looking at about uh, 60 to 70 percent of that total rejection rate, and this includes those papers that are desk rejected. And it's basically where one or both reviewers recommend the paper is rejected, and when only one reviewer rejects and makes that, that recommendation, the ultimate decision is made by the editor.